I like new technologies as much as anybody, but occasionally we find something that we kind of uh, really want to hold on to. Um, so some people might do a restoration, somebody might do a, a, a resto mod to it, or uh, you may go steampunk, or you may just you know try to solve the problem to get the problem solved. Uh, so what I had was a light fixture that we had installed probably back in 2000 four maybe in the house and it was um, the circular fluorescent bulb and uh, either the bulb or the ballast went bad uh, I forget which and I got tired of replacing it and fixing it because those bulbs just drive me nuts um, I always feel like I'm gonna break them and the little thing that swivels around so, uh, and I hate ballasts I hate ballasts I hate ballasts so uh, why not fix the thing so I can continue to use it and bring it up to date with LED bulbs. That's the plan. Or, that was the plan because I did that a couple of years ago and I'm just going to share this with you. Do you have a light fixture that uses one of these things? It's a fluorescent tube. They're horrible. Pain in the butt. Um, the little connector part actually swivels around the glass which doesn't seem safe. This one has a crack in the housing right there, which also doesn't seem safe, or it's separating. I think it's the same on both sides. doesn't seem safe at all. So, I modified the fixture because I like the light fixture. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like after. Uh, I did this a while back, so this is, I'm sorry. I did this a while back. I keep looking at the screen. Uh, so, I'm just capturing, you know, what was done and offering this up as an idea uh, so maybe somebody will gain some benefit from this. This is the old fixture. You can see the little spring clips right here that held the bulb in. And what I did, I like the light fixture. Uh, it's very decorative. It matches part of the decor. And it's also a low uh, footprint. Uh, so what I did was I bought an El Cheapy double-headed lamp uh, fixture and I used a hole that was already in the fixture, um, wired it up, which goes to the light switch, uh, and put in two LED bulbs. And now I have an LED version of this. So here's the fixture assembled. As you can see, it's low profile, it's only a couple inches deep. This being a drop ceiling, it's not very tall at all, so as much headroom as we possibly have is always better. That's why we picked it. Uh, we also stained the trim around the windows and the baseboards a similar color, so uh, I kind of wanted to keep it. I decided I was going to clean the you know dead bugs out of the light cover so that I wouldn't shoot that and people think I was you know a horrible person, uh, but it's one of those things that happens, you know, moths and whatever else climb up in there. Yeah, so here's the assembled light fixture and I'm reaching back to hit the power switch on the wall and there you go. LED powered, fluorescent replaced. Uh, those bulbs should last longer than I own the house. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Too many hobbies, not enough time. It's a theme song, y'all.